So, technically, today is BuildWit Roadshow Day 22. However, we're going to put this within day 23 to keep everything together. We weren't supposed to see WD Skipaniac until tomorrow, but here we are, they're outside of Fargo. We thought we'd stop by, and then we'll go east and check out some more of their operations tomorrow. Uh, so here we are. This is a sand and gravel pit. They are pulling sand and gravel from this existing deposit with a 988. They're putting it into a, a feeder. There's grizzly bars that knock off the bigger rocks. Then it comes up via conveyor to their plant. Everything they do is mobile. So they move all of their plants from area to area to area. I was gonna ask him a question, but he's on the phone. Move them all over to do just this, crush and produce aggregate. The end product is over here. Let's edit this. Fortunately, I had some end product right here that I could grab from. This is the end product. This is Minnesota base material for, for roads, for underneath building pads, anything base rock, this is it. And then they're gonna bring in a wash plant to produce aggregate for concrete for the Fargo. What's the other town outside of Fargo? Moorhead. The Fargo Moorhead area. So that's what's going on here. Okay, we are, we got you off the phone. Can you explain this, but explain it to a six-year-old? Sure. So we're taking raw material out of the ground. It has naturally too much sand in it, but it has great potential to make base. So what we do is we run it up the conveyor, and it hits a splitter box where we bleed out 50% of the material, which is waste sand, and then the additional material goes to be produced into base material. Long story short. Um, how many tons per day are you making? Um, so on this site, right around, 4,000, 5,000 tons. 4,000 to 5,000 a day? Yep. It's pretty good. This right here is what's called load and carry. There's no haul trucks. The loader does all the work. So they set up a feeder in the pit close to the face. The loader then goes to the face, grabs a bucket, carries it back, dumps it into that feeder. That feeder, it serves two purposes. One, it knocks out the bigger rocks that they don't want into the plant that might jam things up with those grizzly bars. The operator runs those grizzly bars that tilt up and down to get rid of those rocks. The second thing it does is it maintains a constant flow of material into the plant to keep this thing running like a Swiss watch. So that's what's going on here. No trucks, one machine feeding this entire plant. Now thanks to the magic of editing, We've stitched two days together into one day. We're out here with WD Skipaniac. This is the second site we're visiting. I'm holding this right here, which is this beautiful piece of granite. Up about 300 yards that way, approximately, I measured it, is a plant that cuts slabs of raw granite into things like headstones for graveyards. And it looks like they made all, all kinds of granite products. Through that cutting process, they generate a lot of waste. This pile behind me is that waste, the pieces of granite that don't make those final products. So they stockpile them back here, and once they have enough, they have WD Skipaniac come in here, set up one of their mobile plants, and crush all of this material into this beautiful class two base, which is made of this granite. It's really, really good, valuable material. So everything they do here is eventually sold. They don't waste any bit of this rock. So that's what we're watching here. We have two of these 980 loaders loading the chunks of granite into a jaw crusher. You can hear the jaw crusher. Wah, 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 wah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's smashing these bigger pieces together, reducing that in size. And then all of that goes into the rest of the plant. It hits a screen deck and whatever is good to go goes up to the stockpile and whatever's still too big, it goes into a cone, is further reduced, goes back through the screen deck, and all of it eventually ends up 
on that stockpile. That is what's happening here. And then also they have a little skid steer with that sweet little attachment doing some cleanup. Okay, much quieter. I'm in a skid steer right now. As you can see, this attachment here is like this little spoon. It's like this little tray. And this slides underneath the tire crushing setup, screening setup to clean underneath the conveyors, to clean up underneath the screen deck, the crusher. You wanna clean all this material that's fallen off of your setup every day, multiple times a day to keep anything from wearing unnecessarily, running smoothly. This little thing, you'll see a skid steer like this at every crushing plant with a little spoon or something that can slide underneath conveyors to get that extra material out of there. Oh, it is so hot in here. Ah.